Let's meaningfully sign ourselves in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today's gospel reflection is from Matthew chapter 8 verses 1 to 4. When Jesus had come down from the mountain, great crowds followed him. And there was a leper who came to him and knelt before him, saying, Lord, if you choose, you can make me clean. He stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I do choose, be made clean. Immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Then Jesus said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest and offer the gifts that Moses commanded as a testimony to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us all see how we can relate this passage to our life. As we all know, leprosy is a very dreadful disease. To an extreme level, it leads to loss of fingers and toes. It is a kind of progressive death in which a man dies by inches. In those days, leper was considered as an outcast. They had to cry unclean when anyone came near them. Also, people felt that leprosy was a curse or punishment from God. Now we can imagine ourselves not as physically affected with leprosy, but how much our sins would have affected our souls. What damage we caused to our spiritual life. And if we continue to stay in the state of sin, then we all need to cry out loud, saying, unclean, unclean. Here I would like to highlight six action or gesture from today's passage. First, a leper came and knelt before him. Here you can see he worshipped Jesus. Despite his desperate condition, he, the leper not only begged Jesus, he also worshipped him. Are we able to do the same? When there are storms in our life, are we able to worship God? How often do we turn to God for help? Second, what we see is the prayer of the leper. Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. The leper was not doubting Jesus' ability to heal. His only question was if Jesus was willing. No matter how difficult our situations are, let's all continue to turn to Jesus. There are so many negative thoughts that runs in our mind. But trust in the Lord. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 6 says, Trust in the law with all your hearts and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. Third, Jesus touches the leper. Wow! This was a bold and compassionate touch from Jesus. Jesus did not have to touch him in order to heal him. He can just say, do it by saying a word or by stretching his hands out. But Jesus chose to touch him because this is what the leper needed. Yes, my friends, Jesus is willing to touch you and heal you too. Fourth, Jesus said, I am willing. Jesus' assurance that I am willing was a mere answer to the man's question. And it's also giving us the assurance for the times we wonder if Jesus is willing to help us with certain problems or enter into the tough circumstance that we are in. Yes, my friends, he is willing. Fifth, healing. Immediately his leprosy was cleansed. The former leper, leper's life was changed forever. As we allow God to work in our life, our situations are changed. He empowers us to endure trials, all chains of anxiety, depression, shame, abuse are broken. And there is physical as well as spiritual healing. Sixth, testimony. Jesus commanded the healed man to go show himself to the priest and offer the gift as a testimony of his healing. Have you ever shared your testimony with your friends, your family member or in the prayer group? God has never failed to work in our life. Even in this global pandemic, his hands of mercy has always been on us. 
So don't shy away or miss any opportunity that demands to share the wondrous deed that God has done in our lives. I would like to end with an encouraging quote by Saint Padre Pio. Pray, hope, and don't worry. Worry is useless. God is merciful and will hear your prayer. Let us all close our eyes as we pray. Heavenly Father, Wherever we are and whatever situation we are in, like the leper, we call out to you. Help us, Lord. Stretch your hand and touch each one of us. Lord, come closer to us, Lord. And fill us with the spirit of wholeness as we reach out to others with our testimony and be your witness. We make this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Goodbye and have a blessed day.